asthma disparities. What do genes have to do with it? Asthma is the most common chronic childhood disease in the United States. Black and Latino children are more likely to suffer from asthma than white children and are more likely to visit the emergency room due to an asthma attack. Black and Latino children are also three times more likely to die from asthma than white children. Prior to 1980, these racial disparities in asthma prevalence did not exist. In the late 1980s, we began to see a disparity in asthma prevalence rates. And by 2010, twice as many Black and Latino children had asthma as white children. Asthma is triggered by exposure to indoor toxins such as dust mites, cigarette smoke, mold, pet dander, cockroaches, and rodents, as well as outdoor toxins such as traffic pollution, ozone and particulate matter, and toxic waste. Children who live in unhealthy environments are more likely to suffer from asthma. Black and Latino children are more likely to live in segregated inner city areas with poor living conditions where they are exposed to indoor toxins such as mold, rodents, and cockroaches. They are also more likely to live in areas with high rates of air pollution and near hazardous waste facilities. These toxins trigger asthma attacks. Despite substantial evidence linking asthma to exposure to unhealthy living conditions, some scientists search for genetic explanations for racial disparities in asthma prevalence. What could their motive be? If there were a genetic basis for racial disparities in asthma prevalence, it would be unusual to see a change in the disparities in such a short time span, as evolution happens at a much slower pace. Nevertheless, some medical researchers seek out genetic explanations for racial disparities in asthma rates. In Fatal Invention, Dorothy Roberts explains that a primary motive for seeking genetic explanations is profit potential. If diseases have genetic causes, corporations can design personalized medicine to cure them and then sell these cures to people who can afford them. In contrast, there is no profit to be found in addressing deep structural inequalities that contribute to health disparities. In the case of asthma, researchers have found that Puerto Ricans are more susceptible to asthma than Mexicans. Medical researcher Esteban Borchard attributes this disparity to the prevalence of African ancestry among Puerto Ricans and thus has spent his career searching for a genetic basis for this disparity. His goal is to create personalized medicine for people who suffer from asthma so that doctors can prescribe medicine based on a person's genetic makeup. While researchers such as Burchard seek out genetic explanations, community activist groups advocate for better living conditions and a healthy environment for all children. After completing a community-based study of asthma disparities, a community group called We Act concluded that a comprehensive approach is required to address asthma disparities, one that takes into account the stress, poverty, poor housing, and lack of access to quality healthcare that many children of color face.